Good evening. I am hoping I'm in the right place. <laughs> Welcome to Stampin' by Hannah here on Facebook. I am just checking that I am on in the on the right page rather than like somewhere really random or even that I've gone live at all because I'm not having a great time with Facebook today. <laughs> Things keep happening and, it, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, so, that says that I'm live in the right place. <sighs> the, honestly, going live is really stressful. So, yes, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in the UK. Um, and I cover the UK, France, Germany, the Netherlands, Austria, Belgium now, and... Um, not and the whole of Ireland, which is awesome. So I'm still checking that I'm in the right place. I'm still not convinced I am in the right place. Fabulous. <laughs> it's been one of those days. Um, I have. Had, I'm sorry if you hear any weird noises outside today, um, because one of the reasons why I'm a bit flustered is because it's been the um village santa father christmas tour round everywhere um which my children have not participated in because they were both exhausted and have gone to bed but they were so loud so if they if they come past my house again which is always possible that it, we might be interrupted by shaking stevens but <laughs> never mind <laughs> so today i wanted to share a couple of things i've got a card base and, a, and scraps and all sorts um because i've been yeah prepping and yeah crazy but i wanted to share these lists with you now these lists are massive um we are now in the last chance section of this catalog um the july to december catalog leaves us really sadly um at the oh, on the third or fourth of january so we are now in to last chance can you see that's all of the carryover that's anything that's staying it's not a lot there are a lot and i'm not about to read i am not about to pull loads of information out of these catalogs um because there's so much stuff that's retiring all i would like you to do is to click into the down bar or into the description um and there is a link to my store from there you can find all the last chance goodies there are a few things that i just wanted to pull out um because um i've pulled all my retiring stuff off my shelves the this afternoon and there's a few things i noticed i've already sold out so jingle 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 which i absolutely adore has already gone the fine sparkle adhesive back gems have already gone and the um the, the seam binding ribbon in soft sea foam has already gone so things are starting to sell out um we've lost quite a few sweets already just because there's like one element of that sweet that's already sold out um but we're fond of autumn that's going it's not sold out yet um and the splendid thoughts i absolutely love this stamp set it's beautiful and the designer series paper that matches as well absolutely gorgeous um but yeah they're both on the on the, the list i think both are discounted as well so it's worth checking out that list um, because there's some really good deals on there, up to 60% off. The other thing I wanted to highlight just before we get into our card is the Kindest Gnomes. Now this as a bundle, you can buy these as a bundle at the moment, and you get 10% off um, when you buy them together using the bundle code. This stamp set is retiring, but these dies are not. So this is a great time to get the stamps and the dies, because you will want these dies in January, putting that out there. <laughs> For personal reason, you will want these dies in January. Um, yeah, the kindest names are leaving us, but we are getting a brand new gnome set, which is very exciting. In, look at this purple, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful July, January to April catalog. So it's a shorter catalog this time, four months. Um, I am, I haven't ordered mine yet. <laughs> They will be. I will be ordering mine um, on Tuesday. Um, so if you want one, let me know, and I can um, get one ordered for you. And of course, we've got the start of celebration, which runs from January the fifth, which is my birthday, all the way through to the end of February. So this is a two months catalogue, 
that's a four month catalog they are coming on the 5th of january i am so excited about this catalog it's stunning so that's all my waffle the stamp set that i needed to use again before it retires you're gonna laugh at this it's the Yeti. This guy is so cute. But I'm not going to use him today. I'm going to use these little stamps. I have a, I love little stamps on cards. Sorry, I've also got a Diet Coke. <laughs> yeah, it's been quite a weekend. I actually haven't left my house all weekend. I have not left my house since nursery pickup on Friday night. So I'm going a little bit stir crazy. Um... <laughs> had kids that have been not feeling all that brilliant and um yeah just generally needed to chill because they've been so busy and we've had as I say I haven't left my house I did leave my house this morning for a run I know get me I did 5k this morning I was very proud of myself um so yeah it's the only time I've left my house for two days um and yeah just so yeti to party i'm waffling today aren't i it's really bad yeti to party i'm using the little little stamps so I'm, i want the I want both of the snowflakes i want the both of the presents i want the little mug <clears throat> and there was another one i wanted oh there's a christmas tree so and then we're going to go for winter wishes and happy hugs. So that's a lot of stamps, isn't it? And they're all dinky. <laughs> really dinky. I've already got my um, card base of crumb cake today. I'm, I've, I'm in a bit of a crumb cake kind of neutral card mood. Um, I, I, will, I will share a card this week, um, which is my... Um, customer thank you card for this month which is in sahara sand and i've just got bit, yeah i'm really enjoying a neutral card base then i've got a piece of basic white that i've cut a whole centimeter shorter and narrower so i've got a bit of a bigger border and then we've got all these cute little stamps so i have pulled the in colors but i've pulled them in blends because of our all our little um little stamps I haven't decided which colors we're going to use yet but i've also got Memento, obviously, stamping with blends, and Tahitian Tide ink. So the first thing I'm going to do, I will admit I've been slightly inspired for this one by um, Michaela Titheridge. I will attempt to share her card um, that inspired me, if I can find it on her blog. Um, and it's been a while since I've seen it. But I thought we would do an ink blending across and then kind of add our little stamps for a kind of really cute quite a simple quite a simple christmas card idea um but yeah and a little bit of ink blending because i am a, a little bit obsessed so i've just picked up a little bit of ink i'm not looking for like loads of coverage and i don't want it to be really dark i'm gonna swirl that in and while i've got my ink pad open i am also going to stamp with my two little snowflakes so i put them on the same block um because why not and <laughs> i'm gonna just stamp them just across my card like that gorgeous that isn't that really pretty already that's really pretty so we're gonna, we're gonna layer this up quite a bit um with these little images so move that off and then we've got our so we've got my sentiment which i'm going to stick on a block over here so i don't lose it because that that and is tiny absolutely tiny. that's one of those stamps that you're going to get stuck to the bottom of your trimmer and never be able to find again so <laughs> tell ask me how i know um i'm going to put that one on one side and the tree on the other because i can do that because we're not we're good at stamping and we're going to do some fussy cutting should also have declared that for you shouldn't i as well so <laughs> i want two or three sets let's go let's go three sets of these presents they're wonky but it's okay i want three of the mugs four of the mugs because that one's not stamped very well You'll be pleased to know if you're a regular viewer. I did order 
a brand new stays on ink pad which i have not used yet but i had terrible trouble the other week that stays on it's still in the cellophane i haven't taken it out yet because i haven't needed to use it <laughs> but i have got a new stays on ready ready to go do love a bit of stays on every now and again um but you've got to be like really specific like needs for it but anyway right let's do some what are we parakeet party for these trees so oh brush tip just because it's my favorite this week and we're gonna do down one side of each tree and then along the bottom and hopefully this will give us some dimension and we're not looking i'm not looking for loads of dimension because they're really little stamps um we're just looking for a little bit of something and then i'm going to blend that out with the lighter pen these are really juicy actually it blends are funny because as they dry they get kind of harder to color with but uh, when they're brand new and these, these are pens i haven't used all that much i've got to admit um they get re the ink moves so much better you can really tell when you need new pens because they get really difficult to color with so i'm going to use the um sweet sorbet for my little mugs so i'm going to do the handle in the dark and then the bottom just like i said i'm not looking for like loads of a dimension with this but just just a little something a little bit more than just flat color um but yes there's loads going on in stamping up land at the moment because we've got last chance we had a clearance rack update as well this week um which yeah is always exciting because there's loads of stuff on there still there's still some bargains actually on there because there was so much stuff added um and yeah it's nearly christmas are we all ready for it to be nearly christmas can you tell that i am not ready for it to be nearly christmas <laughs> i've been off work this week on annual leave and it's been heaven um but i'm now like i really need to get a wiggle on with all my christmas shopping so i'm gonna do the little um little presents in orchid oasis and again just adding and it doesn't matter that i've gone off just totally gone off the side of that one i've left my facebook open on my laptop and i don't know if anybody's seen but i've changed my profile picture this afternoon because i just it's a photograph i've started using for everything it's, it's on my work email and all sorts and of course my dad likes this page so i've just seen my dad's name pop up so if you're watching dad go away <laughs> I doubt he'll have clicked on a live video, to be quite honest. Um, so that one is in Orca Oasis. And then we're going to do this, the taller one, in Starry Sky. So I'm going to do the bows in the dark colour. And then again, just down. All the way down. Like so. Keeping it really simple. Blends, blends colouring does not have to be really complicated. Um, I've done quite a few reels actually on blends colouring in the past sort of week or so. And I think I've still got a couple left to put up. Because um, I'm really enjoying my blends at the moment. They're just so nice to use. Um, and really easy to colour with. So, the next challenge of this card is getting all of these fussy cut. <laughs> Which is, yeah, is going to be interesting. Um, I probably should have, like, stamped and cut some first. But, but that would have been me being prepared. And I think you've already gathered from today's video. Prepared is not something I am this week. Um, yeah, so what have we got? We've got the last chance sale and... The clearance rack update and we've got fitting florets that is due to end 
uh, very soon, actually. So the, the Fitting Florets bundle, which is both stamp sets and the designer series paper and the dies and the embellishments, leaves us on the 31st of December. So if you like the, the, the designer series paper in particular, um, that will that's worth an order sooner rather than later because it's now while stock. Well, it, it's always been while stocks last. If but the stamp set, so the the framed florets stamp set and the um the framed florets dies, they are in that new brand new beautifully purple um. January to April catalogue. So if you like those, they're going to be around a little bit longer. But it's that designer series paper that's about to leave. And I'm really sad because I've really enjoyed using that paper. Um, but yes, yeah, so that, that leaves us on the 31st of December. These are so easy to cut out. But it does take a little minute. Um, just because they are so, so tiny. So, have we all had a nice weekend? Like I said, I've just, I've said what I'd done this weekend. Um, I, not all that much. Um, I have spent quite a bit of time in my craft room, actually. Um, I've sorted out team things, because I've got a new um, email series for my team that's starting this week. So that's, been prepping for that. And I have also been prepping... Um, their Christmas cards and all that kind of stuff. Done my November thank you cards. So they'll be coming out to you this week as well. I have, yeah, what else have I done actually? I spent hours in here yesterday. You know when you, do, you spend hours and, and hours and hours in your craft room and you go, and what, what have I got to show for it? I genuinely can't remember. Um, <laughs> It's been, yeah, I think because I've been off work this week as well, my brain, my brain sort of had a bit of a holiday. Um, and yeah, just trying to remember what's going on is hard. Oh, I'll tell you what else I've got. So, I don't know if anybody will remember this time last year, I launched my card club and I ran it for six months. We had a brilliant six months and I really enjoyed it, but I, I took a little step back from it um, just because things got a little bit crazy at work and everything got a bit much. But I'm going to bring it back for 2023. So it's £15 a month. We make three fabulous cards using a named stamp set. Um, so I pick a new stamp set every month. You can always add the stamp set to your order if you'd like to um, or you can just order the card kit and the card kit's £15 plus the postage and then we uh, then obviously the cost of the stamp set is extra on top of that but we make three cards um, every month nice generic usually like birthdays um, or you know nice kind of all occasion type cards um, but of course, you can always change the sentiments to whatever suits your needs for that month. Um, we use um, designer series paper. You get a pack of embellishments every month as part of that £15. And sign up um, starts now. So I did put it in my email um, this week. So if you, if you are not subscribed to my emails, do consider um subscribing the link is in the description of this video if you are on facebook um and it should also be in the description bar if you are watching the replay on youtube oh, these these mugs are so adorable but they are a little fiddly i probably won't you what's hilarious as well is that i'm cutting all of these out probably won't use all of the images on the card <laughs> because i mean we're already at what how many images is that we've got three we've got six presents two let's leave it at two mugs 
<laughs> and we'll cut out some of these. Very nice um, Christmas trees. Um, yes, yeah, so Card Club is back for 2023. Um, yeah, if you subs if you got my email this week, um, I did mention it in there. Um, and I will put a blog post up on the blog this week um, with full sign up instructions on. But if you want in, you do just need to drop me a message um, and I can get you added to my list. Um, we will be, um, I'll probably be starting taking payments first week of January because I need to wait for the new catalogue to launch, obviously, for the stamp set. Uh, you might have had a hint earlier on about what stamp set we're using. <laughs> Keep hold of those names, guys, people. Because you are going to need them. I've got so much stuff coming up as well with in January. I've, that was what I was doing yesterday, trying to work out how I'm going to fit everything in. Because I've got tutorial bundles and blog hops and all sorts happening, which is all very exciting. So... Here we have all of our little images. And they are, I mean, they're really, really cute, aren't they? So let's do our sentiment first. So I want warmest wishes on my block. And I'm going to stamp this in. Um, Memento Tuxedo Black. I'm just going to pop that down there. And then we're going to do the other half of the sentiment on the inside of the card, which of course I have not cut yet, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to just layer this up uh, when I can find where I have put my um, adhesive. That would be good, wouldn't it? Oh dear. It, do you feel like... My, I'll show you my... I'll see if my adhesive basket will fit underneath the camera no it probably won't um it's ram jam full it really needs a bit of a sort out i need those where on earth oh i did have ah there it is no that's seal plus i don't want that <laughs> oh my steel my stamp is oh i know what happened to my steel it went it it went on the floor right i dropped it and it fell down the end of my desk and i just know that's going to be bad so this is i'm going to use slightly out of date adhesive but it's what i've got to hand so adhesive is adhesive isn't it so i'm gonna layer that up like that and actually i think i need i need mini dimensionals and not the big ones because they're little images there we are so I turn them all over and we're going to pop our adhesive on the back. Lots and lots and lots. Oh dear. Do love a mini dimensional, particularly for things like this when you've got like lots of little things, but the backs of them get everywhere <laughs> i do have actually a little goo pot that i'm supposed to keep putting them in it doesn't always work so i'm going to take all the backs off somehow they still end up going like all over the place all of the backs off i do absolutely love so this is we're using yeti to party for this card from Stampin' Up! And it's a really fun stamp set. I'm quite I'm quite disappointed, really, that it's going to retire. Actually, that is a good point. I think, for all I've just fussy cut all of this out, I do think the dies are still available. They might be in the clearance section of the website at the moment. So we're just going to stick all of these across. And we're going to mix them up and layer them across each other. So we can kind of... Yeah, just not 
putting them in any particular order or any particular kind of way, just layering them across. How oh, those mugs are adorable. There we go. And then that little, one little last present, stick that up the top. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So I can, we do just need to put an inner into our card, which I have not cut. So <laughs> grab my trimmer. If I'd been organized, you'd, you'd worry about me if I'd been organized, wouldn't you, to be fair? So we're gonna go for the same dimensions as the front, which of course I didn't cut the first time. There we go. So we are that, that one centimetre shorter and narrower. And I'm just going to, where's, where's my centimetre gone? So base, um, Memento Black Ink again. And I want, and, so I want the Holiday Hugs right in the middle of there. And then, pull some of these stamps off to put this and on and I, like I know that most people go oh you just want the little tiny block for that I don't I want a nice big block so I can see through it because if I had a little block I wouldn't be able to see as well so there we go and holiday hugs isn't that cute right so adhesive on the back of there for all that fussy cutting, I still think we've managed a fairly quick card this week. We're not even at half an hour. So there is our cute Yeti to party card without a Yeti. There he is. Just bring it back in. Isn't he adorable? Like I said, this is about to retire. It is on that last chance list. Don't forget anything in this catalogue. Grab it quickly before it goes because there are things that are starting to sell out. And if you want copies of the new catalogues, do just drop me a message um, with your name and address um, and I can get you added onto my list. Thank you ever so much for watching today. Don't forget to um, click this li like, this video, um, leave a comment. Um, and if you're on YouTube watching the replay, hit that subscribe button. Thanks ever so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.